So today, a virtual school assembly, we are pleased to have a professional basketball player. Kyle Collinsworth has spent the last several years with the Dallas Mavericks, the Toronto Raptors, and the Utah Jazz organizations. He's also married to a professional athlete, uh, a track star, and he is an expert on how to take care of your body. And so we're so excited to have Kyle here today, and we'd like to welcome to the stage Kyle Collinsworth. Thank you. Thanks for having us. I think the biggest thing during this time is to realize that it's going to end and things will get back to normal in life. So for me, that always helps mentally. And it also helps during that the things we do during this time matter because it's going to end. So if we've been playing video games or been wasting our time, it's going to affect us in the long run. So have faith, be happy, things will get back to normal, and it's our job now to do the best we can to take advantage of the extra time that we have. And being a professional athlete, we deal with a lot of pressure, big games, big moments, and the biggest thing I deal with is uncertainty. So for example, next year, I don't know where I'm going to play. There's a lot of things I don't know, and for us and for you kids, there's a lot of uncertainty. So a strategy mentally that helps me is I like to spend five minutes by myself and close my eyes. I breathe in my nose and out my mouth. And I just focus on my breath. When a thought comes, I let it just drift away and I just stay completely present and just realize that I own the moment. And when you stay present, that's when you start to maximize the future, when you learn to stay present. So mentally, that's a good skill. And also, a, th a strategy I like to do is called, they're called micro movements. So throughout the day, so a lot of people like to, they wake up and they do a big 50 minute workout. And you know, it's good, but then you sit around the rest of the day and there's so much time. So what I like to do is I like to take that big workout and spread it all throughout the day. So kids, you guys can do push-ups, just do 10 to 15 push-ups and do as many sets as you can throughout the day and try to get 100, 150, maybe 200, maybe even more than that. So take these little workouts and spread them out throughout the day with push-ups. You can do tricep dips. You can do wall sits, jump rope. So just throughout the day, keep moving. Try to avoid hours an hour or two hours of just sitting still on the couch watching tv so during this time if we'll keep moving maybe it's a five minute walk outside every two hours you know so if we can just get up and move and be proactive and you know keep pushing forward and realize again i know there's uncertainty but it will become clear and things will get better and things will get back to normal Cool. So Kyle, uh, let me ask you a little bit about that. When uh, these micro workouts that you talk yeah. about, um, I'm guessing you haven't done that all your life. Um, no. When you started doing micro workouts, what were the things that were easiest to do or incorporate into your regular schedule? So you weren't just doing it once or twice and then never doing it again. What are kind of the easiest things to start to integrate? I'd probably say push-ups would be the easiest one. Okay. Like right away, push-ups. Uh, I'd say walking. I think it's a very powerful tool. I know circumstances are lift a little different now, but just to get outside by yourself, you know, just for five minutes. Changing environment super important for the mind to just, okay, I'm inside and go outside for a quick break, see new scenery, and just be able to, you know, see new things. So I'd say push-ups and walking are two really big ones that are really easy to do and very, very effective. Cool. Yeah, my six-year-old just a, a little while ago, she's like, let's go for a family walk. And that just means going around the block once. But she could tell, six-year-olds are really smart. She could tell <laughs> that she needed to get that energy out. And so that's all we did. We did, She actually grabbed a scooter and so did her brother. But we just went around the block once yeah, and, cool. and that helped, you know, so that's great. Um, those are good things for, for physical health and the meditating or, or the breathing, focusing on the breathing, that's going to help with our mental health. Um, are there any other things? I mean, we're stuck inside right now. What are other things that you're doing just to keep your sanity? Um, I'm, I'm doing new things. I think it's very important mm -hmm. for all of us to experiment with new things. So I cook all my meals 
you know, my wife and I, we cook together, but what we're trying to do is we're cooking new things. Hmm. So I think it's very important because when we do something new, it produces dopamine, which produces, you know, happy, happy mood for us. New things are good. So it's very important during this time to do new things. I think we've all wanted to try things, maybe learn a language, maybe learn how to cook food. For you guys, if you don't know how to cook food, start by cooking eggs. That's the best way to start. Mm -hmm. Learn how to cook eggs, learn how to flip them, do all that stuff. It's a great time to learn new things. So our tendency during this period of time is to do the same things, to do what's certain, right? Because we're missing certainty. So through our day routines, we're going to try to find as much certainty as we can because our brain wants it. But fight that. Be, be okay with uncertainty. Learn how to cook. Learn a language. Play new games you've never played before. Make up games you've never, you know, just do new things. So as much as you can for me, I'm, it's new. If I watch something new, new TV, new, new game maybe, if you're going to play video games, make sure it's new. So just experiment in everything new. That's awesome. And I can just say, because I know a little bit about Kyle, that he practices what he preaches here. Um, not very many professional basketball players are going to tell you, you know, that you should become a chef and, and work on cooking your own food or to learn a new language. But Kyle speaks Russian. And, you know, so he's doing these things. He's not just talking about it. And, and you've been doing new things for a long time. Let's go back quite a ways to, to high school. If you were in high school right now, and we're experiencing this COVID-19. I know that you were all, always pretty disciplined about what you ate and how you exercised. Tell us a little yeah. bit about what your routine was like when you were not in high school. So you weren't in the midst of crisis then, but you still had some, you know, an effective routine. Can you walk us through some of the things that you did at that time? Yeah, I think the biggest thing was I had a, a goal, right? I knew what I wanted in high school. I wanted to play college basketball at the division one level. So, so for you guys, just remember, what do you want now? Because during this time, we still have to keep our goals and what we want in the forefront of our minds. We have to have to realize that we can't put things on hold life still moving forward, even though the circumstances are different. So one thing I knew what I wanted. And then I always had a goal, I'd show up 30 minutes before everybody in practice and 30 minutes after. And, you know, putting that hour every day really compounded into great things. And I would just try to work hard and be a good teammate. But those are the biggest things. I just I always want to be first and last to leave and really come in and try to make my goal of making it to the Division One. Speaking of goals, I know that you're a big proponent of visualization, and I love that story of when you wrote yourself a letter. Can, can you share that with our audience? Yeah, so before I made uh, played for the Dallas Mavericks, I actually wrote myself like a letter, like a future letter from like six months from when I wrote it. And I wrote that, it was crazy the exact, I wrote, Hey, things are great. I played five games with the Dallas Mavericks so far. I'm playing well. And the date matched up exactly that at that time, I actually played five games with the Dallas Mavericks. <laughs> That's so insane. I put, it's, it's insane. But I put it out there. I want to play with the Dallas Mavericks. And I wrote it as if it was already happening. Because the mind can't distinguish between what's present and what's not. It goes off of emotion. So I had – belief and emotion that this actual letter I was writing was actually real and so my brain took it that way and it it made it happen for me that's in incredible yeah, so crazy. so you write a letter you say I'm gonna play for the Dallas Mavericks or I have been playing like you actually accomplished it and then when that six months passed you pull this letter out and you played five games for the Dallas Mavericks exactly five games <laughs> that's so, so a, awesome a challenge for you guys during this time is what do you want your life to look like six months from now? Detail. Who do you want to be hanging out with? What do you want to be studying? You know, what do you want to look like? Just every detail you can and write a letter as if it's present moment. So that's something you guys can do during this time is six months from now. What do you want life to look like and write it as if it's in the present moment? That's awesome. So just a couple more questions for you, Kyle. Um, one, and 
I'll be honest, this is coming from my family because they know that you're this health nut and you cook yeah, all yeah. your own meals. And we've been struggling because we're trying to eat healthier at home. And yeah. tonight my, my daughter asked me, I want a blueberry smoothie, dad. What do I do? So what's your secret to make something that kids will eat that's sweet enough that, you know, that they're going to enjoy it without having to have all the garbage in it? So what do you do for that? Yeah, so I, uh, you can use almond milk or coconut milk for the base. Okay. And then you add a handful of greens. You don't have to add too much because, you, you know, you still want to taste good to them. And then you can add what's really good with blueberries, believe it or not, is cinnamon. Put cinnamon in with the blueberries. And then if you want to sweeten it up, I like to add honey. Honey is like my sweetener because there's, it's not just honey. There's other stuff in it. So it's not just like sugar, right? There's more to honey than just the sugar part, the sweet part. Now, when you, so you, add, when you add honey to something cold, though, it kind of gels together. How do you get it so it mixes in? I kind of just drizzle it around the top. So oh, okay. you, instead of lumping it, just kind of drizzle it on the top and then when it blends it won't lump together got it and then you can add half an avocado believe it or not that adds great texture for mm -hmm. kids so half the avocado makes it more creamy and the texture better huh. do you use yogurt at all or do you use the avocado for kind of that texture i use the avocado for the texture yeah huh. i don't use yogurt <laughs> that's awesome all right we're getting cooking tips here from chef kyle that's awesome um what I, what I want to end here with is what's your number one piece of advice for kids? I mean, obviously you had big dreams to, to play college basketball you broke a ton of records in college for triple doubles and stuff. And then you went on to the NBA, you, you set and accomplished a lot of your goals. What's your number one piece of advice for kids as far as setting goals and, and reaching their, their childhood dreams? Yeah. And this kind of, this heavily relates to trying to eat healthy, trying to have a better lifestyle is avoid too much too soon. So if you think from a health standpoint, if you're trying to eat healthy and you wake up tomorrow and you say, I'm only eating vegetables, real food, nothing. And you try to do it all at once. It can become frustrating and you start to attach bad feelings towards it. So the biggest thing is, don't do too much too soon. Same with your goals. Know what you want, but have small steps in front of you. So to compare with food, healthy eating, six years ago, I really started to eat better. I wanted to eat better because I, I hurt my knee. I tore my ACL. But looking back is I didn't do too much too soon. All I did was add a green smoothie into my life every day. And with time, things slowly started to disappear, the bad stuff, and good things started coming naturally. So it was with less friction. So biggest advice with your goals, healthy eating, one step at a time, don't do too much. Simplicity combined with consistency is where the magic happens. That's awesome. So I lied, I have one more thing just because you're yeah. starting to talk about it. Tell us a little bit about, those of you who aren't following Kyle on Twitter, you should be because he's putting out challenges regularly, talking about health and fitness, answering people's questions. That's the place to be. You want to, and what is your Twitter handle, Kyle? Uh, Big Russia five. Big Russia five. So head over there. But one of the things that Kyle's been doing this year is every month he puts out these guides at, that walk you through things and it's compounding habits. And this was a new concept for me. I love the idea, but he's doing what he just told you to do is start small and add little things in. Can you just yep. tell us a little bit about what that means, your, your whole compounding habits thing? Yeah, so whenever we try to get better, our tendency is we focus on what not to do. So if I'm trying to improve my health, maybe it'll be like, I, we start to tell ourselves, don't drink soda. Don't, don't, don't. And our mind gets frustrated because all we hear is the word soda. So instead of telling yourself, don't have this, add things. So it's subtraction by addition. If you add things, one good thing at a time, with time, the bad will naturally go away because there's no more room with it. Like with your thoughts, if you fill your thoughts with good things, there's no more room for bad thoughts. It's the same way with your habits. So I tell people, 
just focus on one thing at a time. So for me, green smoothie is a great example. Every day, just have a green smoothie. Then with time, you'll naturally not want maybe candy every day or some things will naturally disappear. So it allows you to focus on what to do instead of what not to do. It's easier on the mind and it's more focused on action. Awesome. Thank you so much, Kyle. Really have appreciated your time today. What a great message for, for this crazy time that we're living in and we're stuck at home, but you had so much good advice. Um, if kids want to learn more about you or follow you, where's the best place to send them? Uh, either Twitter or Instagram. Okay. Just uh, DM me, message me. I write people back, everybody back. If you have a question about health, just want to reach out, need some advice, I will reach back. So feel free to comment. Awesome. Thanks. We'll put those um, links in, in the description for the video. Thank you so much. And we'll talk again soon. Thank you. Appreciate it.